Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Let me get in my little square. Thank you for joining me today on the Crescent Creation channel. I am here with, with my camera just hanging out there. <laughs> Let me turn down the volume on my cell phone. That is working really good. Um, we're here today with a little bit of digital and a little bit of stamping. Um, Crescent Creation has some digitals that are on sale. And um, if you stop in their shop on a Wednesday, I think you might be able to catch the digitals on sale next week. Let me double check the calendar calendar yes april has one more wednesday so if you go into the shop for digitals you can also stop in on wednesday for 40 percent off select um embellishments embellish wednesdays 40 percent off select items the digitals after the end of the month will no longer be available in the store, so they are all on sale right now. All of these cute goodness digitals. I keep a folder with um, the basics, and then when I print extras, I can just pull this open and say, oh, I'm going to make a, a card with that, a card with that, you know. Digitals or digitals are fun that way. You can set them up and then just bust out a lot of cards. And my video just went teeny weeny. Oh, there we are. There's Bethany and Dawn. Hello, hello. Oh, Bethany says her video didn't work yesterday during our live. That was on my channel. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Hopefully you get to go catch the replay. Dawn, Dawn did a really good job. <laughs> Even after being so frustrated. But um, so their digitals are going away. So you'll want to catch them. They're on sale right now. But they carry they carry other brands. And um, it, it's a slow going process, you know, because they're small. But the more we buy from them, the more they can bring in. And they're looking to bring in new companies and everything like Simon Hurley. This one here is um, Bouquet. <laughs> I, it's in the shop. <laughs> if you go into the shop and then you click the drop down arrows for stamps, there is Simon Hurley. You can click Simon Hurley and all of his available stamps at the shop will be in there. And this is one of them. It's bouquet something. Oh, oh be beautiful bouquet, bountiful bouquet, bouquet of flowers, bouquet, bouquet. I don't know. Maybe that's even wrong. Sorry, Simon. I forgot. And then this is the digital stamp stinking cute. And I'm going to use this little sleeping skunk. Look at that skunk. Isn't it adorable? We're going to tuck it in to some of these flowers like it's sleeping among the flowers. That's what we're going to work on today. And because I feel like it might just be an easy process, what we're going to do is we're going to color and cut this guy first. Okay, so we'll zoom in for this one. Now, I printed with a toner printer, so if I really wanted to, I could also foil this little cutie patootie. But we're, we're not going to do that. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We could do some foiling, though. Dawn was doing the Simon Hurley technique where he stamped and then embossed with a clear embossing powder and then foiled it oh i think we'll do that let's do that because i think we'll have plenty of time let's color let's color <laughs> let's color our skunk um we'll go over here to the we have um a dark chocolate brown and a black um 
I don't know. I don't remember. Is my dark chocolate brown light enough to be a bright area? Yeah, that'll give us a little bit of highlight area. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and remember where our um, blacks and whites go. So the stripe is white, so I'm going to color the top area the lighter color. So we're going to come up here and color this. Okay, because black is black. You can't really give black a shadow, but you can give black a highlight. Okay, and those are black. So if we do... Um, do I want, yeah, Let's see, black, white, black, no, white, black, white, white, let's do this black. Just kind of figure out where, where we want the colors. And it's our skunk, he can be reversed or however we want to do it. We're just going to add some of this dark brown in there. And then come in with our black and fill in the rest. Let's get some nice coloring in there. I can't see what you guys are saying while I'm coloring. It should be called a bouquet something. Yes. Floral bouquet? No. Yeah. I took it out of the where I store them. And of course I didn't think to look at the name. But I did glance at the shop. They do at least have one in there. I didn't click on the actual product to see how many were in the shop. But they do have some. So... If it's interesting, if not, it's okay. Maybe you have something similar. I mean, we ha all have floral um, stamps, right? Maybe you do some florals, die cut them, and all that fun stuff. And then hide your little skunk in your flowers. Kind of a little Bambi scene where little flower to skunk is loving the flowers. And if you have a tiny area, if you just tap, okay, just tap, just lightly tap, you'll stay in the lines pretty good. I'm going to do a light colored nose, just because I can. Pam, hello, hello. I know, I started without you. I'm so sorry. Now, I have a pretty straight line between my two colors, so I'm just going to go right over the top. And just kind of blur them a little bit if I can. I should have thought about that a little sooner. Just kind of blur them together. I kind of darkened it up a little too much, but that's okay. It happens. There's our little skunk. We lost a little bit of the highlight, but that's okay. That's okay. I can still kind of see it. Now, for the. Um, other area the white area yeah you know we want it white okay but we also want it to look like we didn't ignore it so we're just gonna do one side shadow okay one side shadow so I'm doing the left side so everything on the left gets a little bit of a shadow like so Okay, everything on the left. There we go. Now our white looks really white. Budget stuff. Oh, look at how that cute that is. Yeah, when you were live with me, Bethany couldn't. It was just um, 
no sound for her. Okay, I'm going to lift you guys back up so I can cut this guy out so that we can play around with our background stamp. Because the nice thing about a big, huge background stamp is you can stamp a whole bunch, okay? You don't have to wait to have a project handy. You can stamp a whole bunch of backgrounds and just have them ready. Now, I'm doing a little bitty skunk in mine that looks like it might be sleeping. You could do something that's awake. You could do a sentiment in the middle. Pretty much anything you want to do with your background, you can do. And if you can think it, you can definitely do it. And if you have an idea but don't know how to go about it, you can Google search or um, go on Instagram, Pinterest, all that fun stuff and check out how other people have done stuff and get ideas that way. Like the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna emboss this and then um, foil it. And that's an idea that Don and I, well Don got it from Simon Hurley and because I like it and I was hanging out with her, I kind of got it from both of them. Okay, I'm going to turn on my mink and we're going to get, um, let's do pink flowers, maybe. Ooh, I got rainbow. I got this blue. Let's do, let's do some pinks. We got it. We got it all. Not that one, though. Not that one. Let's get this one. Okay. Me and my foil cutter. Me and my thingamabobs. Come here, thingamabobs. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we got this. And we got that. We're going to do the foiling part after. Okay. I need card bases. That will help. So we'll do a couple because it'll be quick it'll be quick once we have an idea and we can we can do it it'll be quick light please stop flickering okay you're you're being annoying okay so let's get some of that lovely versamark out my mink is all ready to go if you guys have a laminator you know that'll work too just make sure it's hot if you run it through and the foil doesn't stick very much, um, lessen, lessen your sandwich, okay? If you're using like parchment paper, copy paper, make sure it's the thinnest available, okay? If it's over sticking, then make, um, make a thicker. So if you're using like 10 pound copy paper and it's really over sticking well then beef up that paper and get that in there and my hands are like yelling at me why are you being like this let's grab our handle Whew. there we go get that nice and inky and almost forgot let's do 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 I'm off to the side here. I'm just going to dust my paper so I don't have embossing powder stick where I don't want it. And then I'm going to set this down. Get that all nice and inked up. Okay. Peel that off. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do that again really quick. Because we can heat emboss two at a time. Okay. Get some embossing. Our embossing magic powdery stuff on that. Set that down. Smooth that all out. Get that 
nice and inky. Now Versamark doesn't dry like a lot of other inks. So I'm just going to peel this up and set it over there. I'm not going to clean it right now because I might do more. You never know. I might do some more. that it's looking good looking good mm. oh yeah that looks good I know you guys can't see it it's like white on white but it's looking good it's looking good Okay, I'm going to put this all back in its little container. Embossing powder is so much fun because it looks like you use so much and you're like, oh man. But then you uh, dump it back in the container and it's like, oh wow, I didn't use hardly any. So it's a good investment. I mean, I've had my heat embossing tool for a lot of years. They're not something that goes bad really quickly. And if you do, um, just contact support. They'll help you. Ooh, look at that. I just got my finger in that one, though. Fix that. Okay. Embossing powder does... It's messy. Okay, we're not going to lie. It gets powder everywhere. Okay. We, we just set it aside. We take a little rag, we wipe it up. It's no big deal. Okay, wipe it to the floor, vacuum it up later. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna grab. Oh, I forgot I gave you your own hook. We're gonna grab our heat tool um, and then just heat it. Let me, I don't know. Yeah.
guys, I remembered the name of it. It is Sketched, Sketched Bouquet. Bouquet. Yes, Sketched Bouquet. That is the name of that background stamp. Okay, now if you're doing foiling, okay, especially toner foil, there are two very specific types of foil. There is toner reactive foil and then what they call heat activated foil, which technically they both need heat. <laughs> they both need heat. But um, regular foil for your Gemini um, uh, foil press and your Spellbinders glimmer machines, those are foils that have glue in them. So if I use that type of foil on this, it would stick everywhere. Just absolutely everywhere. Let me... Which one is cooler? This one. Okay. So you want the toner foil which you know um, a lot of places carry it places that carry both foils deco foil if you just want a small amount of foil to try out deco foil you can buy small packs from them Gina K has um, a team with deco foil I think where she makes her own colors um, Catherine Pooler I think I don't know a lot of a lot of big names, you know, they're they're partnered partnered with Deco Foil, so lots of options out there. And um, in Australia, there's Crafty Critta. Okay, they toner foil. They do label theirs toner foil. Okay, there is. Um, companies that are out of business which I have a lot of <laughs> so mine are out of business but um, let's do let's do this chameleon from crafty Krita. oops 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 now when you're doing foil of any kind you want to make sure you're kind of rolling dust free now especially with toner foil because the dust will block the toner okay it won't stick with toner so we want to make sure there's no dust and I like my rotary cutter right on the glass mat people will say it dulls the blade but it's not like we're running in it a bazillion times so I'm okay with that so we're gonna dust is our enemy we're gonna dust both both pieces we're going to put the image with our clear embossing powder okay face down into that i have my mink set at a two so it's not at its hottest setting but it's at a two and this may or may not work so let's see let's see how we do we're going to just ship that on through while that's rolling through, we're going to get this one ready. Oh, I'm thinking this one here. Susie, hello, hello. <laughs> Pam says, but at least embossing powder doesn't multiply and attack like glitter does, right? Uh, glitter is like the bunny universe in crafting. You like clean it up and then you're walking around and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> yes. Once you dust the embossing powder to the floor, to your garbage can, it is gone. Okay. Okay. We're going to just, oops. Sometimes I find it's kind of starting in the middle and going left and right. Okay. And we're going to put these back in their packaging. I have no idea why I set that other one way off to the side because we don't want any dust. So if we pull out that embossing powder again, we want to put these away. Make sure none of that embossing powder is going to get in there. Okay, so we're going to dust because I feel that there was some dust on the back of my card that might get to the front of the card. So we're going to dust that away from there. Get that 
dusted like so because remember toner foiling dust is our enemy okay so there's that this this little one is done okay I'm gonna get this in to the sandwich and ready to go and then we're gonna we're gonna peel this we're gonna peel this oh ho, 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 ho. look at that oh my goodness now we do have some misses okay but I think that's because the embossing powder didn't stick and that's okay okay this is called sketched bouquet and um, we stamped it with Versamark and then we foiled it okay um, I am gonna turn up the heat on mine because I feel like it just might need to be a little bit hotter but it's gorgeous yeah I feel like it didn't catch quite quite well but that's okay we're just gonna turn it up just a little bit Ugh. Because it, see, it stuck really good there. And it just beeped, so it's all ready at the next level of heat. So let's go ahead and send that through. Mm. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Since this one didn't turn out as well as I thought it was, we'll do some ink blending over it and stuff because it'll wipe right off of the um the foil so we'll do some ink blending on it and add some more pizzazz to it and have some fun with it and then this um glimmer or glimmer uh deco foil and some other companies have full sheets of toner sheet so you have this full jet black piece of toner. You can put this on and run it through and then it'll leave these teeny little bits behind. It'll be very interesting. And the bits will be black, but then you can um, foil it again and put like silver in the middle. Okay, so this one, just let it cool a second. Okay, well, that was a little too hot, <laughs> but I'm not sad about it. Oh my goodness, do you guys see this? And that's the thing, with this type of foiling, you never know. You never know what's going to happen um, because you're using a sticky ink, you're using sticky um, powder, and apparently I had extra powder like everywhere <laughs> but look at that oh I love that oh that would just be a card all by itself oh my goodness that's gorgeous that's okay I'm not sad by it by any means I love it mm. Mm -mm. oh my goodness Oh, I love that. Okay. Sorry, I'm in love, but look how clean it made our... <laughs> it just pulled the foil right off of there. And you can totally foil this too. There's other techniques. And somebody, I think, told me that there was colored toner that we could use. So if that's the case, this would make a really grungy, really cool background to start with and then build up on that and you know I think I'm just Susie's here Bethany's here Pam's here Dawn is here Crystal showed up hello hello if I missed you I do apologize lack of sleep got me I just I was having a heck of a night last night let me tell you okay let's let's go ahead and ink this up and we'll get our little skunk hiding in there we're gonna do we're gonna do some 
pretty red and some pretty orange and then we'll do some yellow centers yeah okay so pam just said crafty crit has started selling colored toner sheets there yeah see i knew i heard it somewhere and then we're just going to get our little finger finger blenders okay we're going to grab a little red finger blender because we don't need it all over we're just gonna pop in some color put that one there put that one there and wait till we wipe this off because all of that foil will still sing through it's gonna be fabulous So we got our red. We'll get some orange in there. Let's do some pops of color. It's not dark enough. Just go over it again. gonna go in with some yellow some shooting star we're just gonna go right where all the rest are okay and then I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to the centers just to change them up okay and I might have got a little bit of ink transfer, so I'm just going to wipe the top of that, call it good. Okay, so now we have our color in there. So we're going to just take a clean corner of our rag, okay? And just like regular embossing, even if we didn't foil it, we're just going to wipe it. Ugh, look at that. look at that you see that it's so much fun and it is still we can still see the green in there I'm trying to catch it for you but yeah Ooh, look at that now we're gonna take our little skunk and we're going to tuck it in like it's sleeping. And I think if we do it, we're just going to grab a craft knife. Now, I do prefer to cut um, with a straight blade on a craft mat. I feel it helps it stop from sl slicing too far. Okay. We're going to come in and just cut away this petal. Into this petal. Okay, and that'll pop up a little bit. And it looks like I need to go to the